Lesson 10 is all about websites for expression. And if you go to code.org, you will see that there's only one bubble for you to do. Okay, so a lot of this lesson is going to involve working with the activity guide. All right, so before we begin, let's do our warm up journal prompt. What are the ways that you or your friends express yourselves? Think about different ways of communicating activities or spaces that you consider a form of self-expression. So pause the video here and then come back after you have written this in your journal so that we can move on. We share our thoughts, feelings, and ideas in many different ways. Some people might express their thoughts online. Others might do so through the way they dress by making a song or by drawing a picture. Self-expression is an important part of our lives. And as we are going to see, making websites is another way that we can express our ideas, interests, and feelings. Our question of the day is, how can we use websites to express ourselves? So by the end of this lesson, you should be able to answer this question. So let's review the problem solving process. Although we don't usually think about self-expression as a problem that we need to solve, we can use the problem solving process to help us express ourselves with our web pages. And in this lesson, we are going to define the problem that our web pages will solve. This is where we will get our activity guide. We have the brainstorm content section. Okay. Answer these questions. All right. And they're the same questions that are right here. You're going to be creating your own personal web page. An important part of building a web page is defining the purpose of the page. Since this is your page, you'll be able to decide what hobbies, interests, or messages you would like to share. Use the prompts and space below to brainstorm content you want to include in your personal web page. What are things you like to do for fun? What are things you know more about than other people? What are things you care about in your school, your community, or even the world at large? So these are just some brainstorming ideas. Whatever you put in this box does not mean that is what you have to make your web page about, okay? And if you go back and think about your digital footprint activity, make sure that you're not really including a lot of personally identifiable information. Like on your website, you don't need to include your age where you live, your phone number, your email, where you like to hang out after school. You don't want to include anything that could possibly lead to you getting stalked and kidnapped. So make sure that you're very general with personal information. Okay. Let's look at this bubble on code.org. Sample personal websites. So we have already looked at these in an earlier lesson. I think it was like lesson one um, where we explored these websites. Okay. So you can talk about something that interests you without giving, giving away a lot of information. Okay. So choose one topic from the list that you put in here and explain what the purpose of that web page will be. When we talked about this musical instruments page, the purpose of this web page was to inform the readers of the different types of musical instruments. It says it's a guide. And in class, we talked about how when you make a website, it's similar to how whenever you're writing text, you have different reasons to write text, to inform, to persuade, to entertain. Um, I don't remember if that was all that, that we had. I think, it, I think it was just those three things. But it's very similar. So for this website, they are writing to inform 
all right? For this website, they are writing to, um, you know, I'm, why would they, I don't know, maybe persuade you that this is the cutest dog, okay, maybe, all right, the recycling club one, they are writing to inform you about what recycling club is, and then also persuade you as to why you should recycle, so your purpose can be more than more than one thing are you writing to inform people about the dangers of smoking and persuade them to stop smoking um so you have you have a bunch of different options when you choose the one topic from above that's going to be what you make your website about okay so come up with as many ideas as you can because it will make it easier for you to choose your topic all right, and then answer, what will make this page special to you? How will you know that your web page is successful? All right, those are kind of tough questions because we have to be able to measure the success of a page in order to be able to tell if it is successful. So if your purpose is to persuade, inform and persuade people to stop smoking, then how will you know that your web page is successful? How will you know if it has achieved that purpose? So that might take you a little while to figure out. Okay, after you have this completed, share with your neighbor and get some feedback from your neighbor because it is very possible that somebody else could have a little a little bit of input on how you can make this a little bit better and there is absolutely nothing wrong with that we are always able to improve even on already really great ideas okay all right so we looked at the examples Okay, share your ideas with your partner. What is interesting about your partner's website? What is your partner most excited about? All right, is there anything that you could help each other with? And looking at each other's code, once you start coding, would be a great thing to help each other with because sometimes there are very minor spelling mistakes that will cause the code not to work at all and the person coding has been looking at it and doesn't see it and then somebody else comes over and looks at it and sees it automatically that happens all of the time and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that okay so after you finish your activity guide you're going to turn that in and then come back and do this wrap up journal it is also a three two one three reasons your site will be special to you two reasons your neighbor's site will be special to them, and one thing you would still like to learn how to do in HTML or CSS. Over the next few lessons, we will be working to bring many of your ideas to reality. Some of the content you want to share might change as we go throughout this unit, but the goal of using websites for self-expression will be there throughout the entire thing. Okay, so how can we use websites to express ourselves? If you can't answer this question by now, go ahead and restart this video.